we decided to launch a workshop here about how to build a carbon fiber acoustic guitar. And the challenge was to come down here in a specified period of time and build a guitar, and at the end of it, perform with that guitar in a show. Generally, it's a very straightforward process, and we tried to streamline it in our workshop so that people could get there faster. So the first step in this is basically we had to find some sort of dimensions for what a basic guitar would be. And then we put them into this program, 123D Design, and we're able to build up in the program a 3D model of this guitar. I really thought everyone would stick with the basic design, um, but everyone wanted to change it. So this is a, uh, a bass guitar, and really the main difference is just a little bigger body, so this, the tones are a little deeper. This part on my guitar is actually wider than the standard guitar that most people are making. My hope is to make uh, an acoustic bass that acts like a speaker. This is a little different than the standard mold because it has a cutaway. I decided to go ahead and cut out the carbon um, in the back and install a wood back. And a couple people are actually going to try to do a carbon fiber front, which I think is going to be a very different sound um, and we're really not sure what it's going to sound like yet. The soundboard here, I cut on the uh, laser printer and I designed everything in Adobe Illustrator and just uh, cut out the lines. It was a lot easier to design than I thought it was going to be, but getting everything fit together just right. That's with the devil's in the details on that. I, I've been surprised by lots of things. I didn't think you could build a guitar in just a few weeks. The carbon fiber process is new to me, um, and there were just lots of intricacies in the guitar process. I've taken very precise measurements of everything and trying to use as much technology as I can so it's a, as precise as possible. And so it's very nice to have the resources here um, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably venture to do this on my own.